the first thing, first step is to clear the firearm. We'll remove the magazine. We can lock the bolt to the rear. You can do that manually or leaving the magazine and pulling. You can visually inspect the chamber and stick your finger in it. Once you're satisfied that the firearm is empty, you're ready to disassemble. Step two, after we ensured the gun was clear, is to remove the handguard. Have a screw on handguard cap, remove it, slide the handguards forward, they'll separate, and set them aside. Step three will be to remove the knurled lock nut and the gas regulator nut and spring. Step four will be barrel removal. We'll pull the bolt to the rear slightly, jiggle wiggle the barrel, and it'll come right out. Just remove the butt pad using a Phillips head screwdriver. Try to screw it all the way back to where the screw comes through the rubber pad. You'll be ready to clear when both of them are out. This allows access to the takedown bolt that's inside the void of the buttstock. We'll be separating the upper and lower receivers. They're held together by upper receiver retention bolt that's in the void of the buttstock. It's a recessed six millimeter hole. We're using an Allen type bit. We're going to loosen it roughly four turns. Oops, tight. One, two, three, four. We take the ratchet off. We're going to be using the extension and the bit that's down in the bolt as a disassembly tool, slightly tapping. Starting to separate at about an eighth of an inch. I'm going to use the ratchet again. Go two full turns. Tap it again. It should be almost clear. I'm turning the bolt out by hand. The bolt and its bearing plate. Now we have the upper and the lower to come apart. They're tapered at the front, no takedown pin. You have to go far, forward far enough to clear the tenon at the rear, and the bolt needs to be pulled slightly to the rear to separate the two. The hole for the tenon, the tenon on the upper and the threaded hole that the retention bolt goes in. Final step seven will be disassembling the bolt handle from the bolt so we can separate the bolt carrying the bolt from the upper receiver. Put a little tension on the recoil spring to where the bolt body will move. There is a crescent cut on the bolt body. If it's centered right over the bolt handle, you can pull the bolt handle out. There's also a small disassembly notch on the edge of the bolt handle that you can pry. Now, I'm not going to pry because I don't want to ruin the finish on the receiver. I'm just going to pull it out. I have to wiggle a little bit sometimes. The rest of it slides apart. Recoil spring, bolt lifts right off the carrier. Guns disassembled, it can be cleaned.